Hello everyone! So today we are going to be doing a video, which I will probably regret soon, <laughs> because I'm going to be ranking every single book that I read in 2020. Yes, every single one. And no, I'm not tier ranking. No, I'm going full 120. Well, okay, not 120, like 104 <laughs> to 1. So there's no tying, there's no, mm, I don't know, every single one will have a place. Except for my rereads, which I will go through first because I don't think it's fair because if I'm rereading them, chances are I love them. <laughs> I'm not going to go into detail in them because it would then be like a three hour long video and I'm not doing that. <laughs> so we're going to just do this quickly. Oh, rereads. I reread the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan. I also reread The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare, which is Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. I reread The Six of Crows duology. I actually have a vlog on this. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I also reread The Raven Boys by Maggie Thubotter. I read Matilda by Roald Dahl. I read The Shades of Magic series by Dee Schwab, which is A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light. And I also reread Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. Fable by Adrian Young. Witches of Ash and Rune by E. Lashimer. Now onto two star books. Also, a reminder, any of these that are in the bottom, I do have a worst books of 2020 if you want more details on them. The Princess Diaries by Meg Cavish. Lumberjanes Volume 1. Skullduggery Pleasant Bedlam by Derek Landy. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Maas. The Twelve Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayless. Descendant of the Crane by Joan He, Skullduggery Pleasant Midnight by Derek Landy, The Tombs of Ashawan by Ursula K. Le Guin, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien, The Farthest Shore by Ursula K. Le Guin, Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron, Mooncakes by I Can't Remember the Authors, In an Absent Dream by Sean and Maguire, God's Grave by J. Kristoff. Now onto the 2.5 stars, which there is only two of. Tales from Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin, Nevernight by J. Kristoff. Now on to the three star books. The Tales of Beetle the Bard, The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller, Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shauna McGuire, Dear Evan Hansen by Val Emmerich, Dark and Deepest Red by Anna Marie McLemore, A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin, Red Sister by Mark Lawrence, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. Sarpan, Legend Born by Tracy Dion, Wilder Girls by Rory Power, Giant Days Volume 1 by multiple authors, This Winter by Alice Oseman, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, A Torch Against the Night by Sabah Tahir, Nick and Charlie, The Old Version by Alice Oseman, Night of Knives by V.E. Schwab, A Song of Wraiths and Rune by Roseanne A. Brown, and now we are on to the 3.5 stars, The Everyday Angel Collection by Victoria Schwab, The Toll by Neil Schusterman, Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman, Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff, Nick and Charlie, The New Revised Version, Supernova by Marissa Meyer, Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna McGuire. Now we are on to the four stars, which there is a lot of them. The Other Wind by Ursula K. Le Guin, Tahanu by Ursula K. Le Guin, To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo, Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, Starfish by Akemi Don Bowman, The Steel Prince Volume 1 by V.E. Schwab, You Should See Me in a Crown by Leo Johnson, Come Tumbling Down by Shauna McGuire, Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shauna McGuire, an Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Unravel the Dusk by Elizabeth Lim. Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. The Near Witch by V.E. Schwab with these beautiful sprayed edges. Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. Wind Witch by Susan Dennard. Ten Blind Dates by Ashley Elston. Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. Obsidio by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Gemina by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, Sight Witch by Susan Dennard, City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab, A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir, All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson, The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, The Lost Book of the White by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu with beautiful purple sprayed edges, The Vanishing Stair by Maureen Johnson, Loveless by Alice Oseman, Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab, Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas, and Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. So now we're on to my 4.5 star reads. So these are ones that I really enjoyed but just slightly missed out on being five. The Dark Vault by V.E. Schwab. With the Fire and High by Elizabeth Acevedo. The Mad Ship by Robin Hobb. Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. And Vicious by V.E. Schwab. 
we're about to move on to the five star reads that I read in 2020. So I would encourage you to go watch my 2020 best books because some of these are obviously in there and I discuss them in more depth. The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Heartstopper Volume 3 by Alice Oseman. The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab. Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. The Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden. Sadie by Courtney Summers. Illumine by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. The Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. The Savage Song by V.E. Schwab. Blood Witch by Susan Dennard. Lastly, number one on this list and the best book that I read in 2020 is Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb. So that is every single book that I read in the year of 2020. I have basically been keeping a spreadsheet where I put in the rating and then I rank them. It's honestly a pretty good way of figuring out what way you feel about a book. Okay, this fits in with all my four stars. I like it more than this one. I like it less than this one. It's a pretty good way of figuring out a rating. And also, I just really wanted to make this video to quickly run through all of my ratings throughout the year. This is probably very boring for a lot of people, but I love when people do these kind of videos. So hopefully you did enjoy it. I am probably going to hate myself when editing this because I'm going to have to put in pictures for a load of them and I'm going to have to like put in account. <laughs> and it's going to be very annoying. Also I have to clean up afterwards and my bookshelves are absolutely horrendous to look at right now. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! Look at how empty my shelves are without all of those books. <laughs> and now I have to go put them all back. Why did I do this? <laughs>